Today grade 11. So welcome to your first lesson in grade 11 maths. Today we're going to start with a section called exponents and what we're going to do is just revise our basic exponent law. So it's a really nice introductory lesson. So first of all, anything to the naught equals 1. So in other words, 5 to the naught equals 1. 7 to the naught equals 1. 8 to the naught equals 1, okay, 6,432, all to the 0 equals 1. So that is the rule that you need to know. The next rule that I'm reminding you about is a to the m times a to the n is equal to the a to the m plus n. So what does that mean? Let's do an example. So an example of that would be, for example, okay, a cubed times a squared and the way we work that out, to just to prove it to you again, if I had to rewrite this, do you agree that a cubed would be a times a times a, and a squared would be a times a, and then it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a to the power of 5. So another example would be 2 to the 3, 2 to the 5, so you don't have to multiply that all out like that. All we can do is go, well, that is equal to 2 and 3 plus, three time, three plus 5 is 8. And there you go. Right, let's look at the next two rules. a to the m to the n is equal to a to, uh, a to the power of m times n. Okay, so again, just to prove it to you, if this was a cubed squared, then do you agree that would be the same as saying a cubed times a cubed? which we just learned was a to the 6, because we do we add these indices. And what is 3 times 2? 3 times 2 is 6. So that's the rule. The rule is that a to the 4 to the 3, what do we do? We times across the bracket. So it just becomes a to the 4 times 3, which is 12. And then similarly, if we've got a, b all to the power of n, that can be broken down into a to the n, b to the n. Okay, so in other words, if for example I have got 2 times by 4 cubed, then that could be written as 2 cubed, 4 cubed. Or if I had 3ab squared all to the power of 4, that would be the same as saying 3 to the power of 4 times by a to the power of 4 times by b squared, b squared to the power of 4 because everything in that bracket is going to be to the power of 4. And then using this rule here, we now know that it's 3 to the power of 4, a to the power of 4, b to the 8. Okay, right, and then we've got a to the m divided by a to the n is equal to a to the m minus n. And again, I'll just prove it to you. Let's say we've got a cubed divided by a squared. So a cubed would be written as a times a times a, and a squared it would be written as a times a, and you'd notice that I'm dividing it by putting it under the quotient line, so I'm putting it on the denominator. And then what can we do? We can cancel like terms. So this cancels with this, and that cancels with that. And what are we left with? We're left with a to the 1. And if you look at this, 3 minus 2 is 1. So there you go. That's how it works. So similarly, if I had 2 to the power of 8 divided by 2 to the power of 3, we would just subtract these, and it would become 2 to the power of 5. And then finally, this rule here is a diff just another example of the previous rule that we had on the previous page. And again, I'm just going to show you how it works. So what we're saying is that if we had a over b all to the power of 3, then obviously that would be a to the 3 over b to the 3. Or, for example, if I had 2a squared over c to the power of 3, all squared, then what we're saying is that this 2 applies to every single thing in that bracket. So it becomes 2 squared times by a squared squared all over c cubed squared, which then becomes 2 squared is 4. a, we remember we multiply across this, so 2 times 2 is 4, so it's a to the 4 all over c, and again remember we multiply across with this, so 3 times 2 is 6, 
OK. Remember that all of these work backwards. So if I have a to the n over b to the n, it can be written as a over b to the n. So in other words, if I've got um, 2 to the 3 over 5 to the 3, that is exactly the same as saying 2 over 5 all to the power of 3. Remember that these can go both ways. That's what the equal sign means. Right, grade, ten, grade 11s, that's your first lesson on exponents in week 1. Please go and practice and learn your rules. Make sure you know them because if you don't know your rules, you cannot do exponents. Have a lovely day.